Hi, everybody. Welcome to another game with the Right Start Math Winter Game Series. Today, we're going to look at the game Sum Building, which is game A70 from the Math Card Games book written by Dr. Joan A. Cotter. And I'm going to be your host today. I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler. All right, the Sum Building game, our objective of this game is to become familiar with adding columns of numbers. The cards and layouts, we're gonna use the basic number cards, like this shown here, and, but we're not gonna use the tens. So we're gonna use zero up to nine. Two to four people can play, and we're gonna give 10 cards to each person. Our object of the game is to collect the most cards by using as many cards as possible to build a column of numbers and its sum. So let me show you what I mean here. So I have 972, these three cards are making 972, and I'm going to add 117. So I'm using these three cards, one, one, and seven, to be 117. And then I add them up. And of course I have to have the right cards to come up with 1,089. Now, when we're playing the game, we're not gonna have the plus and the line. So it's gonna look like this when we play it. Now, when we do play, a number may not start with a zero and no blank spaces are allowed. So let's go play and see what this looks like. Okay, I've got my 10 cards and let's see how I can turn these into columns of numbers, into sums. Alrighty, well, and these are not pre-selected, by the way. This is just, we'll see what happens here. So I'm just going to do, I know this adds up. Um, six and five is 11, carry the one. And what can I do here? So if I've got eight, six, that would be seven. Oh, here we go. Because remember, I carried my one, so seven, eight. So is this right? Let's scoot this like this. So I have 561 plus 251. Does that equal 812? Eight. That does. I didn't use my last card. So this one I'm going to put in my stack on the bottom of it. I get to collect all these cards. So if I'm playing against somebody else, I just got nine points. And maybe they got... 10, maybe they got three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so there's my new hand. Let's see what I can do with this one. Got a zero in here. Well, that's seven and three. That would be 10. Let me scooch this down so you can see it a little better. Eight and eight is six, let's see, eight and a seven. Here, four and one make five. And everyone's gonna find their own strategies with this. And again, I'm just kind of thinking out loud. What else could I do? Eight and eight is 16. Maybe some of you are going, oh, oh, go do that, go do that. Huh. Now, if this is my equation, 47 plus 13 is 50. Actually, it's not 50, it's 60. That's not right. Hmm. Let's let's just try something totally different. Let's see. So 87 plus 53. Here's my 10. Carry the 194. Oh, here. Hey, look at that. Okay, I've got 87 plus 53. And those of you that watch my videos, you know that sometimes I make mistakes. So sorry about this. We're going to check them. Um, let's see, eight and five is 13, 14. Yes. I wonder if there's any way I could use these. Some of you are probably hopping up and down saying, oh, do that, do that, do that. I'm not seeing it. So I'm going to call it good here. So that just got me um, seven points. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video on the game Sum Building, game A70 from the Math Card Games.
Have a great day, everybody, and go play a game. Take care.